Hey guys, it's Lois, and we are back with a new build. This is a uh, kind of a strange creation. I saw, I was looking at pictures of uh, real life houses and um, trying to find some new ideas for stores. And I saw this uh, really cool kind of crater house. Like um, it was made out of um, box crates, so it was a um, you know they were stacked on top of each other, and then they all kind of connected. Um, each one and I thought it was really simple and pretty easy design to do so I made this um, made this design so I was trying to make them look a bit better when trying to put them together so I used um, try to use the box cars the best I could I had to try and glitch this one in but then when I went upstairs I had noticed that uh, as you can see right there on the left that the roof glitches in so that gets like a really uneven floor to the second floor so what I did is that uh, I used the stairs to uh, snap on the second level and I do kind of the same thing for the third but uh, this is just to show you what the um, bottom floor looks like for some reason I didn't have any footage of me placing that down but you know it's only box cars nothing kind of in depth and uh, well fall out <laughs> but yeah I am um, little update I have um, got the got the job I've got the job that um, I spoke about in my in my vault video and uh, yes yeah, so I've got a new job thank god so should be fun but um, I don't start for a few weeks yet so I don't worry I'm still gonna be able to do YouTube and uh, I'll try and do YouTube as much as I can so I was gonna keep it like this because as you can see it's pretty flawless when it attaches but I try out this new um, stair design that um, <laughs> like try doing but the whole place um, the bottom level the blue um, the blue box car is the store I made it into kind of a trading store and then the second story is the actual apartment like a little home for one person and then the third floor is kind of a deck where um, you can just chill out drink um, bring people over you can all sit out there and have dinner there's also a kitchen upstairs so yeah it's actually pretty nice and I realized at the end that I didn't include a bathroom again because I'm really terrible when it comes to bathrooms so um, what I did is I put a little outhouse in the back so I've made the third floor um, if you want a tutorial on how to make them then I'll definitely make one because apparently I have no <sighs> I have no footage of how I did it and uh, but so I will try but I used the picket fences um, and they look a lot, lot nicer than using anything else they're pretty good height so this is where the terrace would be so I put that all around. This links up to the second floor. So yeah, I have the small uh, box car there and then I attach wood onto the edge of it, on top of the second floor. Um, it attaches automatically so you don't have to worry about trying to glitch it in, but it will go in naturally. So I have a little bit here to where you can walk upstairs. So yeah, this is the final kind of look to the outside, except I do change up um, some little things. So I put a few of these down because it looks like it's like floating. Um, sadly I couldn't put any posts on the front part of the build, only the back because it wasn't kind of centred. So you know, sorry about that. but. It makes it a lot more junky looking, which I haven't really done in a while. I try and make things look a bit too clean. But I do use a few vault things in this, um, mainly some old, uh, on the posters bit, there's, um, they made like a, kind of a tattered old one, I use some of those. I use the new desk, because I absolutely adore the way that desk looks. Holy shit, like, so much better than the rest. So this is the outside. I don't keep the concrete wall and that turns into a glass wall so it comes into kind of a shop 
um, shop window. So we're starting on the store first. I've put all the lights in already. So there are colour lights, um, kind of blue, green, purple at the bottom, uh, red, orange and yellow in the middle, and then a regular hanging light on the top. So I put the glass here to make it into a um, store window to where I can show off some of the um, stuff that I want to sell. And I put some of these posts so it kind of blends in a little bit better to the wall so it's not sticking out kind of randomly. Eventually. <laughs> and uh, so we're, we're going to start in now. Um, I quickly signed someone to it so don't worry there will be a person in the back. So I think we're going to do some um, signs out in front first. I clutter it a little bit. It a little bit it <laughs> what I clutter it a little with um, different signs uh, kind of taking inspiration to uh, my hangman's alley build to where I have this um, just kind of I think it's either wooden walls or it's um, the junk fencing and I just kind of throw a load of uh, um, paintings all over the top and decorations and it looks looks really cluttered but I like it so I kind of do a little bit of that but not as crazy <laughs> Now I think we're going to put um, a couple of these lamps, I miss them, I haven't used them in ages. There was a point where literally there would be no build <laughs> without them, so yeah I have them back now, thank gosh, and uh, putting some uh, bottle lanterns around, I think it looks really nice. Um, I realised that the thing's floating but since I took away the rug it sinks, which I'm so glad it did, because usually it just jumps up and I hate that. So we're going to do the inside now, uh, put a few different rugs about, I really love the, um, the rubber ones, they look really nice. Now I was uh, debating what to do inside here, I was debating what even store I should make this. Um, a general store seemed to be the easiest option, um, I could have made a bar, a bar could have worked. Definitely, I'll probably make a boxcar bar at some point because um, I think it'd be really cool, or just a bar in general. Because uh, I, I, there's like, so many possibilities of doing what you can, like what you can make with a bar, and what you can have, like kind of theme-wise and stuff. Um, or I can leave that to um, what kind of shop you'd like me to build. Now we've got the new counters because these counters work with any kind of build. So I use uh, a lot of different things in this bottom bit and I do a bit of junk decorating. Didn't do too much, I didn't clutter the place. I could have went overboard but I kind of put as many down that it's kind of an example of what you can possibly achieve with this build. Um, I think this total build took me hmm, about an hour or something. That's just because I keep taking time stopping and starting again and trying new little things and uh, go to sleep <laughs> and uh, decorating and stuff like that so it takes a little while but you can definitely do this probably in half an hour especially if you know what what you're planning or what you're gonna do and how to get those bloody uh, containers or well, not the containers the box cars on top of each other nicely by having too much of a gap or looking like it's very unstable <laughs> so i really like these shelves they're quite nice they're quite thin um, you can probably stick a lot of stuff on there most of the stuff that's on those shelves are placeable objects like the lanterns or the lamp um i have some radios i think i have like a little cage thing that's from far harbor um like that thing yep lobster cage um Obviously the lamp, those children of Adam stuff. Um, I think that's it, I'm not sure. And then the rest of it's just junk decorating that I place by hand.
but I hope everyone's doing really really well um, I would love for you to comment down below and say what kind of thing you'd like to see me build I will, I'm up for everything on anything um, I look on reddit quite a lot to see what other people have built to give me some inspiration on what I could possibly try so um, definitely give me some ideas otherwise I'm lost but that would be great <laughs> if you could um, help a brother out you know <laughs> So yeah, putting a uh, magazine rack down seemed to be a nice little filler since it's quite thin as well. So it helped with the small space we have. I make kind of a little living room here for you to sit down and read the comic books. And I place some of the table lamps around to give it a little bit of glow. There we go. And then I think I put in some paintings and then a shelf and that's it for the second floor until I put all junk stuff in it. I'm a, I adore these posters. I love them so much. They, they really help a store look good. Because there's kind of, there's so many different um, options in what to choose and yeah, I just love them. They look really good in a vault canteen because of the um the red or pinky checkered floor looks really really good especially with that theme so i'm putting those um kind of damaged posters up because it really helps the look of um kind of i don't know like i've come from my vault and i'm helping out another settlement and i brought along some posters from the vault that i think would be really good for the um just for the settlement in general and they've been there for a while so they've gotten damage from the weather and stuff like that so the um the shop is pretty much done now so we're going up to the bedroom i already put a bed in there but i'm swapping it over to this side now and uh yeah this only carries one though i'd love to make a uh kind of a huge build just with the containers so I'll have to remember that one so I can have like a huge family living in just containers um, I've seen people make um, a hotel out of them which is a really good idea so um, yeah any any kind of ideas would be appreciated but the next build won't be a individual build it would be back to the vault I know I need to get back to the mechanist lair, but it's <laughs> going from the vault to the mechanist lair is like going from easy mode to hard mode and you're like, oh, but easy mode is so much easier, god damn it. So um, I'll have to suck it up at one point <laughs> and actually go back because it's so much cleaner and easier to build in a vault because they're just big pieces and they make something pretty decent looking. But with the mechanist lair, it's a big pile of poop like <laughs> it's uh kind of it's a big closed in area where you can't really do much it's better if we have mods because you can't have stores in there you can't have um cages you can't have you can't have a lot of things you can't even have uh planter pots or anything you can't have any resources it just sucks kind of so i am um, i'm still trying to make it something that looks decent I also need to get up on that where I need to build or finish off Outpost in Monja because that's been due for a while so I apologise if anyone's waiting for that um, yeah I kind of went a bit crazy over the vault <laughs> but I think it's not going to take me as long as I think it is because I don't think I'm going to fill out the whole area of the vault um, because I think that's a bit too excessive and especially because we don't have enough rooms to do that we only have five or six different rooms to choose from so if you had the mod that gives you more vault rooms then you can definitely do it but PS4 I don't think there's a way unless you keep redoing the same thing over and over again but right now I'm doing kind of a desk area to where you'd um, keep your money and sort out some sale business and just kind of chill back I know it's a pre-war thing but um, covering it up with Foot Locker and stuff like that kind of helps it blend in a little bit more 
flipping some more stuff around. And then after doing the bedroom, kind of living room area, then we go to upstairs to the last bit and then it goes to the tour. Now it's a very short video this one compared to my half an hour to an hour long videos. So um, you don't have to stay long enough <laughs> to where you're sitting there skipping the video going off because it's like, but um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy the little shorter build for once. So I know that some people really don't like longer builds. Um, I, I like the longer ones for some reason. I think it's mainly because um, I have no life. So <laughs> I can just chill back with a cup of tea and just kind of watch it. And maybe draw while watching the long videos. Just either background noise or um, as some just kind of inspirational videos. So here I am making the kitchen. I love these counters. They kind of glitch into each other perfectly. I wish they'd snap, but these work pretty decent. So I made the desktop. I'm going to put in some paintings and um, some tables. I was going to put a uh, planter pot out here, but it was too big for the area that I had, so I had to be mindful of space. And putting um, plants around the fence it kind of poked through awkwardly so what I did is that I did this little trick I'm showing here I only show you doing one because I already have a tutorial up on how to do this but you put the little shack stairs there and put the shack floor so you can kind of see in and then you put the plant or you can put a light anything um, getting all different plants out putting one down centering it the best I can then you store the piece of wood it goes on the table and then what I use that as kind of a stool to where when you look down you can see the plants beautifully so this is the final product um hopefully you like the tour and what I've done with it I know that the <laughs> window is a little bit big but you know it's really difficult to put a wall that looks decent with that but there's the outhouse and uh, yeah, so I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening or night. I love you all so, so, so much. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Floating in the sky